welcome to the special bonus Christmas episode of the Simply Jesus podcast. I am your host, Bundy Moore, and I'm here with a very special guest being my mom. Hi. We thought we would try to do a special bonus episode, and what we want to highlight is Christian content that Bundy and I enjoy, or just people that love Jesus doing, you know, small businesses and just a way to support them. So these are just some of the small things that Bundy and I enjoy. Um, We also have our dog, Charlie, in the background, if you can hear him. So anyway, let's start with our first um, content that we want to highlight. Bundy, why don't you go first? Okay, so I have to start out with the AI Bible. Uh, It is a project that is like being funded off of like you send in money for funding stuff. Like crowdfunded. Yeah, crowdfunded. Yeah. So they take the Bible. They don't change the Bible itself whatsoever. They just take like AI and then run through the exact verses of the Bible and turn them into pictures using said AI. So it's it's quite cool. So it's like a picture Bible, yeah. right? It's, but they're generated from artificial intelligence. Um, we've seen some of the pictures and the animations, and they're really, really cool since the bot kind of look, reads the whole Bible and then takes that yeah. information and tries to figure out what it might have looked like. And it's really, really cool because if you think about it, if like you picture Egypt, you picture a thing, but the robot has the like amount of time to go through and like read multiple stuff in like fra- fractions of a second, so you get a lot more background of it and how it probably on, actually looked. Come. Keep on down. <laughs> um, okay, so it's not out yet. They're no, still working yet, on but it, the, but it's coming. It's yes. coming soon. And I will post the link so you can see a lot of their pictures and their animations on <laughs> Charlie. Do you want to get him so he yeah, comes in with us? Okay, come on. Um, so that you can actually see it online. So it's really, I'm really excited for it to come out. Okay, so one of the other things that I'd like to um, just kind of highlight is there's a lot of like Christian t-shirts or a lot of Jesus t-shirts that have positive messages. But the one that I love, and they were actually one of the very first to do it, is Walk in Love. So I have this uh, sweatshirt. Bundy has his... Fruits of the Spirit, Dancing Banana. Um, I don't know why this exists, but I'm glad it exists. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. It's really fun. So it's just a, um, a family that does it. You know, a mom and a dad, small business. Their kids get to help out on what's going on. Um, so it's just kind of fun to support them. So they're having a Christmas special where they're releasing um, videos. I mean, not videos, a new like t-shirt every day for like 25 days or something. So um, you can check those out like on Instagram. It's called Walk in Love and I will also post the link there. Buy their stuff. Okay, okay so next I have The Chosen. Um, he's kind of a mess if you couldn't tell. Uh He's a King Charles Cavalier. We may or may not put King Charles Cavalier in the link in the bio. Maybe. <laughs> just maybe. But, okay. Back to Chosen. So, it is great. I have, being, like, grown-up Christian, I've watched a bunch of very incredibly cringy, Christ- like, Christian shows. Like, oh, my, oh yeah, it's Bible Man. And, like, and they do a bunch of stuff or whatever. But this is so much better than all of those cringy Jesus shows because it's very real. Real to the point where I'm like, what? Because, like, you assume Jesus is, like, perfect and stuff and, like, you know he is. But they give Jesus a personality. And, like, if you think about it, you really haven't seen Jesus with, like, an actual personality. You just assume and he's, like, blank and he's like, yes, I, I will heal you. I'm stoic. But, like, he cracks jokes, and, like, it's fun, and it's real, and it feels just nice. Yeah, so they're on their fourth season. Um, We love it. It's a great, even for kids, it's really great to watch, and then you can talk about it. You can look at the verses to see um, what actually happened, what parts did they embellish to make a a TV show and what parts are, are true, um, which really, we both enjoy watching it as a family. So, Like, they add in a couple of things, like, they didn't explicitly say this in the Bible, but this is, like, 
what the, could, this could have happened. They're taking a little, plausible. Yeah, they're taking a little bit of creative liberty, but they're keeping the main pieces of it completely intact. Right. And, and it's just really nice to watch the miracles and everything happen. Yeah. So the next thing I want to highlight, so this is 1186 water. It is my most favorite bottled water like ever. It comes from Alabama, an Alabama aquaphor. And it just so happens that the people that own this um, water sourcing product are Christian. Um, but the water has the perfect pH. It's, it's similar maybe to like smart water, but I love, love, love it. Um, and also if you take off the lid, there's actually a scripture on here. You probably can't see, but it says like Ecclesiastes 3. They have a scripture on every um, bottle cap too. So anyway, if you want to promote a small business, I highly recommend 1186. It really is amazing water. I'm not like a bottled water guy. I, I'm a tap water person. Like, Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, compared to like other bottled water, it's, it's pretty good. Just as a non-bottled water liker, it's good. <laughs> Okay, do you have something else on your list? Do you want me to go? Uh, I'll go. So, uh, like, if you're watching this and you like clean Christian content, you probably already know about Dude Perfect. They're a pretty big thing. But if you don't happen to know, then they do, like, trick shots, and it's all five guys, and they just have fun. It's clean, it's Christian, and uh, it's just really nice. So they, like like throw something out of like a throw a ball out of a helicopter and it lands in a hoop They're like yeah but why don't you tell them what the new mm -hmm. thing is happening with dude perfect that's a little bit different yeah they're uh now like that was the early days and now they have besides just trick shots they have battles and stereotypes mm -hmm. and so but they also have things. an app and their own app right so what are what else is going to be on the app do you remember uh, they have, they said on the app that they're going to have extra exclusive content that's right. not on YouTube. So Dude Perfect has an audience and they have trust with parents because they never curse. They're not crude. Um, but they've created an app and what they're going to do is not just put their content, but other clean content that they think is family friendly on their app so that you and your kids would have a place, a safe place to go and that you trust that whatever is on the Do Perfect app is actually clean and approved. So that's something that I think is becoming more of a trend that we're seeing. Yeah. Um, even the podcaster that I was going to promote, which is, um, Upset the Gram. It's my favorite podcast. They're it's really amazing. They talk about some really great things um, for an older audience, but they're also putting their information on an app with other people that are like them. So other maybe pastors or other podcasters, but it's content that's like it. Um, and so you have, you can now go to an app and get similar content. So I think we're gonna see that trend with other things. Yeah. Um, Nate Bargetzi is doing the same yeah, he thing. Did that. He has clean comedy. He's creating an app where he's going to add other clean comedians on there. So it's an interesting kind of trend I think we're seeing in social media so that you don't go to YouTube and just try to like filter through all the different stuff out there trying to find what you're looking for. So I'm glad they're creating safer spaces yeah. for families also to go. Also, side thing as well. Yes. Well, the app is called B Side App. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So um, another uh, guy that I follow, he just happens to be Christian, but he has a company, it's like a nonprofit called Protect Young Eyes, and it's resources for all kinds of internet safety. Um, he'll do an app review. So let's say a new app comes out, he will review it and tell you the pitfalls, the pros and the cons of it. Um, he talks about internet filters, how to set up your phone to be safe for your kids, um, and gives you parental guides on um, all the things, social media and all things, tech devices, routers, um, any of that. He's, it's free, you could, and they also have an app, it's all free, but anytime you have any questions, um, you can always go look at his website, type in whatever app that you have a question about, how to turn on the filters, you know, Netflix released some new filters maybe like six months ago. So he immediately came out and said, this is how you can use them. This is what it will and will not do. And it's it's really amazing. We love it in our family. So it's a great resource. Partially that does help me a little bit because I'm like, oh yeah, I want to play insert video game. I'm like, oh, that's very violent. So like, no, 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 no. I'm going to stay away from that. Right. That's why I'm a Nintendo guy. 
So um, I think that's all. We Maybe you want to talk about Right Now Media a little bit? Uh, yeah, they just produce like good old Christian content kind of stuff. But that's partially what introduced me to the incredibly cheesy, but incredibly funny because of it, Bible Man. And it's, what is Bible Man? Uh, so take Superman, put Jesus, mix the two, and then make him say like Bible verse every two seconds. Yeah. And like, it's really but cute. the bad guy's like, it's the Prince of Greed. He goes, ha ha ha, like, I'm going to make insert kid or something like greedy and like using my greedy ray <laughs> yeah, right and bible man goes no i quote insert bible verse that says no but no thing about greed he goes oh and he like flies into the sky and i curse your bible man yeah so it's not really for teens it's for a younger audience but it's really cute because they fight evil with scripture so it's it's kind of it's fun to watch it makes me laugh yeah it's fun to watch not because like i'm this is very instructional but like this is incredibly cringy <laughs> yeah so right now media is normally your church has a subscription so if you ask somebody at your church at the administrative level they should tell you how to get into right now media for because um, you kind of buy it as a church and all the members get access for free um, but I haven't been out there in a long time, but they have, they have so much. I mean, every Jenny Allen, Priscilla Schreier, they've got, um, Tim Tebow, um, I mean, all the people, any of their stuff is out there for you to listen to for free. So, and then they even have it like study by age group. It has study by, um, life choice, you know, whether you're marriage problems or kid problems or whatever it is, but um, there's so much content out there if you're looking for something. I bet you would find something you really um, enjoy watching. So, And it's all like videos. Um, anything else? Uh, I think we covered all of our bases. Yeah. I think we just wanted to encourage you that there are a lot of small businesses out there um, that just happen to be Christian that are putting out really good content, whether it's t-shirts or apps to help you with all the things for your kids. Um, whether it's just bottled water, but people are making a difference. People really want to use their God-given gifts to go out and do something good and positive. And I'm just really in the mindset that that's who we want to support. We want to support lots of people, but um, I think you we want to support people that are stepping out in faith and trying to do something positive for the world. So um, that's all I had. Anything else, Bundy? Uh, one more thing to add.